So as Zach mentioned, we're gonna jump into pressure frying real quick. Um, <clears throat> we've got two main types of pressure fryers, our eight head, eight head variety and our four heads. Uh, the forehead system is over there, it's a spindle top. Really the difference is the system itself. One is a spindle top where you drop product into it. The other one comes with a racking system. Now I wanna point out, I wanna point out that Zach, uh, uh, Zach pulled this product from our, our walk-in, our reach-in. The way that this system typically works is that you'll have your product uh, battered breaded and staged in a reach in, refri in reach in refrigeration each half rack for this uh, for this particular unit is the size of one half sheet uh, sheet tray so two will fit flush on a, on a single full size sheet tray so you can get as far as as far ahead as you want um, but the whole process and the whole the whole thought behind pressure frying is cooking to get ahead. If you're cooking to order, open frying is the way that you want to go. If you're cooking, if you're cooking to hold and then from there going either to a radiant heat or to the guest from the holding, pressure frying is what you want to do. And we're going to explain why here in a minute. frying does is it helps you retain the moisture within your product um, all proteins all vegetation everything's everything's built up with are built built up with h2o and we effectively once we introduce uh, pressure we effectively change the boiling point of water from 212 to 241 degrees now by elevating or increasing the boiling point it makes it harder for the internal temperature of your product to reach a, reach the temperature to turn water into vapor. So with since that water isn't turning into vapor, it has nowhere to go, so it stays within your product. What that translates into is a longer hold time, because the longer you hold, the more your product tends to dry out. So this gives you a little bit more protection once it goes into a hold once it goes into a holding cabinet. And we'll you'll see that throughout the course of the demo, we're going to pull the tenders out 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we're going to taste uh, we're going to taste it as it progresses. This unit is an electric unit. It's our PXC 100 Velocity Series. It has uh, it comes with its its own version of our our Computron 8000 control board. Uh, it's extremely customizable. You can do up to 36 programs uh, and multiple steps per program. What I mean by that is a lot of people paint pressure fryers into a corner. It's only for chicken. That's the only thing I can do. And I'm not a huge fan of the pressure texture inside and out. And what I mean by that is if you've ever had KFC Original or even the Chick-fil-A Nuggets, that's an all pressure cook where you don't get the waves, in, the waves on the outside of the chicken, which in this industry to nerd out on chicken a little bit, we call cragging. Open frying is when you get the crags, where you get the waves, and a lot of people like that look. It's what they associate with uh, the presentation and with the mouthfeel with each bite. We're able to, by doing multiple steps, we're gonna do our first step here with pressure, so we get the benefit of retaining the moisture inside of the product. The last half of the program, we're gonna cook without pressure, so, so we can mimic and get that open fried look that everybody's accustomed to seeing and, and expects in a tender. This unit filters automatically after every uh, after every cook cycle. We could adjust that per your operation. Uh, this is your condensation pan. The steam that's released uh, when we release pressure, it's going to exhaust steam. Any moisture that's been built up in the chamber by the product, the condensation from that goes into here. It needs to be emptied daily. This is our auto top off. Right? What our auto top off does that's deceptively large, it goes, it runs the entire length of the of the fryer. It holds fresh oil. So every time, every time that you cook and every time that you fry, you're gonna have what we call lift off. And lift off is gonna be the residual oil that comes up with your product. So each cook you're you're dialing down your levels up minimally. What this does is constantly refresh it from the bottom to keep you at what we call the season sweet spot, where you wanna be for optimal frying and consistency. We actually had a customer go through 6,000 pounds of chicken between bone-in and tenders in 20 days um, with one of these units, only 75 pounds of oil. All of our units have onboard filtration, and what I mean by that is there's no external filter dolly that you have to roll up to filter your product. 
our oil drops straight into our drain pans, goes through our filter media, and right back into the vats. You'll see that throughout the process. We'll show it on a couple different models as well. A benefit from that, and another common theme you'll see as we run through the Henny Penny lineup, is safety and how can my team members not handle or not be near hot oil. On the velocity, we're also able to uh, dial in set points, upload, upload or download these set points to transfer to new stores or new startups. Um, this is the only pressure fryer that comes with the USB feature. We do have a gas eight head called the 690. However, the control board is gonna be a little bit different on that one. Right now you're seeing the filter process, dropping and doing a quick filter. The thought process behind this quick filter is by the time we're done unloading the racks, taking this to wherever it needs to be held, going to our, our reach in and walking back up to the unit, we're gonna be ready to fry. One thing I'd like to point out with any penny, there's a lot of different, a lot of thought goes into a lot of different little pieces. The same clamp that holds down your lid is also your staging area for your sheet tray. It's a fringe benefit you get with any penny because we're in a lot of larger specs, both domestically and internationally. A lot of data gets sent to them and a lot of requests. We'd like the prior to do this. We'd like it to do that. This is a little bit clunky. Can you make changes on that? Henny Penny makes those changes and then ultimately is filtered to general market. So coming on board with Henny Penny, you benefit from all that data collection. As you can see, we're getting the cragging really nicely on this and, and looks like an open fried tender. With a lot of moisture content. We're gonna throw this in the holding cabinet at 180, 12% humidity, and we'll pull it out in 15 minutes and take a look. All of our pressure fryers typically will have a pressure gauge here that I'll show you on our forehead. Um, it displays digitally the PSI on this board. I mentioned once you introduce one pound of pressure that, uh, that you start to get the benefit. We recommend no less than three pounds per, um, per drop to generate that minimal amount of pressure. What we call optimal pressure is the 12 PSI. Now 12 PSI, we call that optimal because you're getting the benefit of retaining the moisture, but at 12 PSI, you start to mess with cook time and being able to shrink your cook time. It's the way that we're able to cook, um, you know, eight full chickens, which is what eight head means, eight three pound chickens um, in 12 minutes and 30 seconds. On the flip side of that, on our forehead over here, uh, we do have an accessory called pressure assist, which will, which will assist to generate that pressure if you're not dropping three pounds of product at a time.